Well, something very unique coming to the stage on the ETSU campus. It is an opportunity that you don't want to miss. It is called Canapolis, a moving portrait. Here with more now is Anita DeAngelis with the Mary B. Martin School of the Arts. And it's always good to have you back on the show. Great to be here, Amy. Getting ready for a big night coming up this Thursday. That's right. That's and right. Thursday evening. This is one of those that you were talking about when you first came on the show that you were really looking forward to for this new season. Right. I, I always look for things that kind of combine different genres in the arts and, and then can bring something else. And the something else to us this time around is a bit of history. So it, it, I, I'm really looking forward to this particular performance. And it's got sort of film and documentary sort of right. mixed with a live musical performance. With live music that was composed specifically for this performance. So it's film footage from the 1930s, 1930s maybe a little into the 40s, um, shot by a man named H. Lee Waters. Uh -huh. But the film footage has been reconstructed and put back together um, by a current filmmaker and then a woman named, a musician named Jenny Scheinman um, composed new music to go with the film footage. Huh. So, and, and she kind of plays bluegrass, a little bit of jazz. Um, she's got two other musicians coming with her, Robbie Folks and Robbie Gerso. And it's amazing just watching the trailer and hearing some of the music, how it's like it's telling a story without any right, words. Right. It really is telling the story of the, of the people that were in these films. So, And this is looking at about 118 different towns in three different states, our area, sort of during that later part of the Depression. Right. In, in the Carolinas, Tennessee, and Virginia, H. Lee Waters went around and, and filmed people. And originally the films were played before uh, before a movie in a movie theater in the towns. So it was a way to get the townspeople to come in to see the movies and see themselves on the big screen with some of their movie favorites. How cool. Yeah. And you said too he was kind of one of those that always did different sort of things with he, his documentaries. Yeah, he did a lot of strange things when he was filming. Stuff that was very unusual at the time where he would change the the speed of the film and sometimes he'd play things backwards and forwards and backwards again so he was really experimenting with his filming. And one of the things that I have read about people that have seen this is how you really did follow it along like it was a movie. I mean yeah. it seemed like there was a, a beginning, a middle and an end and yeah, tells and, the story. And I think the music really adds to it because like there, there's a movie that or a piece of music that's about Kannapolis and Kannapolis was known for the textile industry so the the underlying rhythm to that song sounds like the looms running in a factory so very interesting very interesting music and she I was reading has a very interesting background as well Jenny and Jenny she Scheinman. will be there doing her I mean it's sort the, of all the music part of it. the music is all live so it's not a soundtrack um, we'll see the three musicians on stage, and then Jenny will be out in the lobby afterwards. So, yeah. I think it'd be really cool to get an opportunity to just talk with her to find out how, how you know, it's just kind of backwards when we normally think about, but sure. writing the music to go along with what she was seeing. Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah pretty exciting. It's going to be very cool. Well, always good to have you on the show. Looking Thank forward you, Amy. to Thursday. Going to be a big night. It will be a big night. Here is the information. Again, this performance, Canapolis, a moving portrait, is coming up this Thursday. will take place at the Cult Auditorium. For more information and to get your tickets, you can call that number or you can visit the website, and there you'll find the performances for all through the season. The preceding portion of daytime was sponsored by